Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Fisherman's Headquarters, and today is Monday, August 22nd. I'm up here strolling on to the beach here in Ship Bottom, Mid Island, Long Beach Island. Here to share an updated fish report with you guys for this new work week. Uh, this past weekend was an awesome one. Got into some real good fishing. Uh, hopefully, you got into some good fishing too. So, kind of what's going down right now in Long Beach Island is we've got some good fishing in the Barnegat Bay and Manahawkin Bay area. A good abundance of blowfish. Hopefully, you're getting out and catching a couple of those little critters. They're tasty ones. Please harvest responsibly. Uh, also, fluke fishing in the bay is actually surprisingly really, really good for this stage of the game. Uh, normally, this time of year is when the fish start moving out. So, those main channels, the main thoroughfares on uh, inlets, would be a great place to look. Uh, I had some quality fishing both yesterday and also Friday. Uh, fishing with gulp, five inch, six inch gulps. Uh, I've also found that. Um, with the abundance of blowfish in some of those channels, kind of be a little bit of a nuisance. Uh, I was blowing through a lot of packs that uh, live minnows were kind of out producing for me. Uh, fished on the teaser, just a little tip for uh, kind of what I'm doing. Uh, but for the most part, I'm fishing some um, some gulps. The uh, the white really has been the best for me, but uh, I guess Sunday, yesterday, I uh, did pretty good on chartreuse too. We had a little bit of a, a tint to dirtier water. Um, really for the most part all season, chartreuse really wasn't doing too much for me. It's, it's really the, the, the white. Um, and the, uh, the pink shine, the, the white pink uh, glow. Uh, I could also say that one of the anglers in the boat was doing pretty good with a yellow, a curry chicken. It was like a yellow and brown. Uh, that was a pretty good one. Uh, but as far as that report goes, uh, fluke fishing the bay is, is very strong. But fluke fishing the ocean is actually kicking up too. It's been, been pretty good. I uh, heard some great reports from uh, LBI Charters, uh, Captain Greg Carr. He's at Barnegat Light. Great uh, angler, charter captain. Runs an awesome operation. Looking to get out and go do some fishing. Uh, he's definitely an expert bottom fisherman. I know he's been doing really good. Uh, Jason Golder, uh, alumni from Fish Heads, he was out with some friends and he was fishing on Luke Cannon's boat. Uh, they did pretty good fishing. Uh, I think actually uh, Bait Boy, uh, Danny Velarde was on the boat as well. Uh, he's, he's a store staffer at Fish Heads. Uh, they got in some good fishing yesterday. I know the boys have been, uh, been getting out a lot, doing a lot of fishing, getting some tuna earlier in the season. Uh, those young guns really get on it and, and getting some good fishing. So right now, as I stroll on the beach here in Ship Bottom, uh, kind of in a break between the monsoon, we've had a huge rainstorm here this morning. The uh, Long Beach Island Boulevard and the entrance to LBI, the causeway is flooded. Uh, some water's in front of the shop, but most of the deep stuff's up the street there around Wawa and um, you know, kind of the new, say, construction they're doing maybe has part of it. Uh, but I actually saw some new construction there, north, more towards Ferry, as I think they actually fixed a little bit of the flooding issue there. I just drove through there and I was surprised there wasn't as much uh, water as I was expecting. I think they did a little um, little new sewer drain flapper kind of thing there and uh, maybe fixed a little of that situation that was a uh, really bad area for many, many years. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm up at the beach, a little break in the monsoon. As you see over here, it's a little more on the sunnier side. Uh, I can't really see, but behind these houses, there's definitely another, looks to me like another front coming through, definitely some, some more gnarly clouds. Um, but it was pouring rain today. Hopefully it didn't get out and get poured on. Uh, I know definitely was a gnarly one on the jetty for sure if you're out there in that. Um, but as far as the jetty fishing goes, there's some good fishing taking place. Uh, I'm not saying epic fishing by any stretch, but there's fluke to be caught up there in the jetty. And uh, all this month, all of August, good quality fluke fishing will be taking place in Barney Inlet Jetty. Uh, off the beachfront, I heard some good king fishing taking place. Um, you want to go fish live bloodworms for those, small hook, high low. Small weight today, looking at the beach, you got, say, I don't know, two foot, one to two foot kind of slop rolling along with the northerly wind. I'd say it's an easy breeze out of the north, northeast. Uh, I probably needed like three ounces, four ounces to hold today. Uh, throughout the entire week, looks like the forecast is calling two to three foot. Kind of meandering swell, uh, maybe it's in the one to two, two to three, one to three foot range. Looks like right all, all through the whole entire work week, right into the uh, upcoming weekend. Uh, I think we'll have a little bit of longer period swell. I saw that in the forecast coming down from a storm that was off of South Africa. Uh, I guess that was a two weeks ago. That's propagated through the Atlantic and crept up our way. Um, that is going to be showing, I think, tomorrow. How much it shows, how little it shows, uh, will be kind of be kind of told at the different tides throughout the days. Uh, you'll probably see a little more energy at the low to incoming. Probably need a little more weight to hold bottom during that time frame. Uh, at the higher tide, outgoing tide, maybe not so much. Uh, but we'll see. Wait, what happens? We'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, definitely bringing a little bit of extra lead. If you kind of think you're going to be fishing, uh, say, one to two ounces, might not be the case, depending if you want to hold bottom or move around. Uh, that's actually a good topic to maybe touch upon. You don't always have to kind of hunker down on a specific piece of structure unless you really want to. Sometimes striped bass fishing, that's what you want to do. You want to kind of find that cut in the bar, 
you kind of see behind me, see that little bit of a sandbar, you see that little trough there, that little pocket of water. Sometimes you want to kind of hang up on that side there and, and stay tight, but other times you want to move around. Uh, for me, finding kingfish off the beach, finding fluke off the beach, moving around a little bit isn't a bad thing. Um, not telling you to, you know, that you have to move all over the place. What I'm kind of saying is you can kind of fish up along the side of that, say that sandbar there, that piece of structure, and then kind of work over as, uh, say, you make a cast or two or three or four or 10 or 20 as your day goes on. Uh, I think some people jump up the beach, they look off the dunes, which is a great thing to do, take an overview look, and they kind of jump in the game and start fishing, and they kind of hunker down. They put their bucket, their sand spike down, and they're there for the whole day, and they, they won't move 10 feet one way or 10 feet the other way. That's cool. If, that, if that's your thing, that's cool. Uh, for me, I guess I'm a little too spaz-like. Um, I tend to move around a little more on the beach. One of the reasons why I fish a lot of lures, I like to get up on the beach, I like to get an overview, take a peek and say, hey, I want to fish over here, I want to fish over there. And then I kind of get my mindset and I'll approach it that way and I'll start working through those spots, through those areas, casting, retrieving, checking this out, checking that out, switching up the lures, switching up the actual approach in the exact area that I'm fishing and the angle in which I'm approaching it as well. Fishing both along the lip, right in tight to the beach, as you see right there, there's some deeper water uh, right along the beach. And then also say working the sandbar further out. Um, keep in mind, be very mindful of the way the water's flowing. Uh, sometimes it's left to right, right to left. Uh, most of the time I find I, I like to cast a little bit up current, a little bit upwind, depending on what's taking place. Every day is different. Uh, and kind of stay taut with my line. I don't like to have a lot of belly or slack. Uh, when you're fishing a lure, you want to be somewhat in contact. Uh, or you're not going to, one, feel the lure, uh, feel any kind of action that that, that lure might be uh, giving you. So, for example, say like an SP Minnow or a Pala, a Bomber, a Metal Lip Swimmer, uh, many, many lures out there. You know, you're going to feel that lure swim. You're going to feel that thump. You're going to feel that vibration. That's very important. Uh, if you're not feeling that vibration of the swimmer uh, or that swimming plug, it's probably not swimming. That same action um, that you're feeling is the same action that fish should be feeling and that same action that fish... Uh, should be attracted to when that's swimming and coming up to, to take the bite. When that bite occurs, slack line is the devil. If you've got slack, very rarely will those hooks penetrate and set up tight and you get a good hook set on a fish. Uh, most time, if you have a taut line or a, say, a properly tensioned line uh, with your slack out, you're retrieving it properly, getting that belly out, staying taut, staying in contact, quote unquote, contact with the lure, uh, you'll get a bite and you'll hook that fish and that your, your success rate will go up. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, in terms of other fishing taking place right now, I mentioned the jetty before. There's tog up there. Uh, there's trigger fish up there. Uh, probably some blowfish ro roaming around. I'd fish more towards the bay side uh, if you're looking for blowfish. But there's, there's definitely some blowfish in the inlet. Maybe a few drifts for fluke and got chewed up uh, pretty good. So other than that, um, some blues rolling through. Definitely still some striped bass. Uh, I think Randy Edwards actually got a bass over the weekend. Uh, he actually weighed a trigger fish in too. Randy uh, puts a lot of time and does a lot of fishing awesome dude and uh appreciate him supporting fish heads so uh yeah he dropped by like i said a, a trigger fish i don't know the weight off the top of my head but it was over the weekend uh he also shared the photo like i said of the striped bass um there's some smaller blues around uh i'm not going to say that it's as good as it was say a week ago a week ago we had some little flurries even two three weeks ago we had some flurries kind of popping up um with some bait and such i really haven't seen much of that last couple days but i'm sure it's taking place somewhere i uh, heard of some blue, uh, blue fish in the bay side which is good um, there's some kingfish mostly in, in the ocean, but there are some in the bay. Uh, there's actually a good showing of weak fish recently. Uh, they've been around really all summer. We heard some good reports you know, we in, the, uh, in the springtime. I really didn't take part in that action. I, I didn't score on that, uh, but some anglers did. I know store staffer, a couple store staffers got into that. Uh, just recently heard of some weak fish action uh, off the north end surf and also the inlet. Uh, some action in the bay as well. I'm sure the south end bay side's loaded up with them. That's normally a hot spot down there good public access down towards the dock road area. Um, but yeah, I heard some good weak fish action just, just over the weekend um, in the earlier morning time frame. So maybe, uh, maybe that will happen or, or, or progress here throughout this week. And um, normally we start seeing an influx of spikes in the August time frame. That's normally when I have a lot of fun fly fishing for weak fish here in Barnegat Bay and Long Beach Island. Uh, so we'll kind of have to see, wait and see what happens there. Um, I mentioned fishing down in Beach Haven, the public docks. Just had the uh, Beach Haven Marlin, uh, White Marlin Invitational. That was a big, uh, it's the oldest White Marlin tournament in the world, possibly, definitely country. Uh, they just had a big, big event there, just ended. Uh, congrats to Chris Adele, 
Um, the the boats definitely they've been dialed in. They, they fish all over. They're down in Florida fishing in the wintertime up here doing all the tournaments. Um, Mike Kelly, huge congrats to him. He, he's a good friend of the shop and also Brian Perry. Those are the only two guys that I know of that were on the boat, uh, but they've been on the boat for, for a number of years. Uh, Brian Perry's the man. He's over at Penn. He's been at Penn for a long time. So we've been good friends. So big congrats to you guys and uh, congrats to all the boats that got in on the action and, and participated and won some money, uh, keeping, the, keeping the dream alive. It's a growing tournament. Awesome to see uh, the tournament kind of getting back to say it's it's roots uh with the marlin fishing um i know there's a bunch of blue marlin and white marlin released great to see uh we got you know this kind of this um this kind of show that, that these anglers can put on in this say northeast canyons you, you hear a lot of the uh, stuff about the white marlin open down south or what's taking place this week uh which is the mid-atlantics down in cape may uh you really don't get too much of the buzz about the white marlin invitational but like i said it's the oldest one guys are still fishing hard it seems like it's been coming back the last few years due to the, um, I guess, the support from the from the different local communities, different anglers, different people jumping into the um, to the event and supporting it. So that's that. You guys looking to get geared up, get in some fishing here in the uh, late summer time frame. Stop by Fishing Tech Course. Love to help you get geared up. Maybe you want to get ready for the fall. Fall season be right around the corner. Uh, you want to get in the game. Maybe you want to learn a couple things. You need some help. Maybe you got some troubles. Maybe you have no idea what you're doing. You're new to the, new to the uh, fishing scene. And um, kind of we get pointed in the right direction. We're here for you. Stop by Fisherman's Headquarters. We're open seven days a week. Located in Ship Bottom, right on the causeway, right after the first traffic light upon entering Long Beach Island on the right-hand side. You can shop 24-7 at Fisherman's Headquarters.com. Have a great day.